Hey guys, it's Wolf, and we are back with Timberborn and our beavers on Helix Mountain, who are busy, busy little beavers putting their water in their water tanks. And when we left off, we had just started building their apartments up here on the ridge line, so they can have a nice, pretty view of what's going to be down here. Uh, we started our new tree farm right here, and we finished, for the most part, our reservoir right here. And we ended after a nice long dry season. So now we have the water flowing. And hopefully we're going to get a full reservoir here while they uh, eventually it'll overflow here. I'm not worried about the shrubble. That's a lot of logs, but it is what it is. And they're going to get done with that. And we will have a lot of fun. Nothing to do in range. Who's that? Oh, you don't have any... Cut trees down. Mark a tree cutting area. Literally all of this. Everything the land, everything the sun touches is yours. Simba. Okay, there we go. Perfect. And now we're just going to speed up a little bit. Wait a minute. Why are you not flowing over? About to say. That was a little weird. Oh well. And then we also started our plans for our big reservoir back here. We have to get these two out of the way too, but that's the plan. Uh, I don't know how far we're going to get to that reservoir just yet. Oh, it's going to be a big reservoir. I love it. I love it. I love reservoirs. But let's speed up time and get our beavers about and soon we will be good. This should be overflowing like any minute now. It is taking its sweet time to fill up. Is the water leaking somewhere else? No, it's not leaking anywhere else. There it goes. Wow, that really took a while to get that high. That's kind of terrifying. What if we eventually have a drought where we don't get to replenish this? That's terrifying, guys. That is a terrifying thought. I don't like it. Ah. We need a faster way to get water down here. Which means we need to hurry up and get industrial areas and whatnot built. And I'm thinking industrial can go back here. We have all these blueberries planted now. Um, if we really wanted to, we could plant some more blueberries in here. If we wanted to. Um, I don't really think there's a necessity to have that many blueberries right now. But, you know, it'd be nice. All of these things. Okay, so we got three days until the next drought. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. We have a decent amount of water. Oh, these aren't pumping. No wonder. Uh, now we should get plenty of water. We have eight jobs without beavers. Are they all here? They are. Okay. As long as they're right there, we're fine. As long as that's our beaverless jobs. Now we should... Hey, look, they built the little homes. Now each one of the towers has a little hut over it. Perfect. Uh, that, what is this waiting on? Waiting for gears. Where's our gear workshop? You, you've been paused. No, I'm a fool. Oh, well, it happens. It happens indeed. It does indeed happen. Uh, we need planks, planks, and planks. Soon enough, this guy will get done with his planks, and they'll get built over here. Seems to be- oh no, not a flood. That makes me wonder if we shouldn't put seawalls up, or make this maybe a little bit deeper. Which was a plan anyway, I planned on blowing the entire river out, making it at least a second block deeper, so... It'll combat those floodings just a little bit. Those darn seasonal floodings that we have. One plank. Oh my god. Y'all are taking y'all sweet time with these planks, you know that? What are you doing? They don't even need you right now. That's a summertime job, my guy. Go work in a pump. There we go. So our water is now maxed out. As far as it can be right now. After we get nine more of these gears. <clears throat> my apologies. Yeah, after we get nine more gears. That'll be done, and they'll do that. Uh, hey, now we can get to all but to this one. 
Nope, they're building the roofs, aren't they? They're they're building the roof. <laughs> oh god. Why are you beavers like this? Why are you like this? Oh, we got two baby beavers though. We need to start adding some more population anyway, so I think what I was saying, if we did the math, uh one, two, three, four, five, six, that's one of the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So two of these is one of these. So that's four of them, so that's two. And then we have three, and then we have one. So that'll give us room for another beaver. And then, as always, we can add some more housing down here, which I planned on doing anyway. Yeah, it won't be too bad. Hey, the drought has started. 11-day drought. Holy potatoes. Pause your potatoes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're going to start pumping from here, and we're actually going to raise the floodgate fully. That way it traps more water. I know that half a block doesn't seem like a lot, but... It really, it really actually kind of is. 10 days, or 11 days. That's not the worst one we've done yet. However, we do need to run that. And these are going to run at like half power. That's fine. Hey, yo, stop overflowing. Stop it. We need that. That is our life source. You calm the heck down. Hey, look, our beavers are over here now. Oh, all of our beavers, they can all get home. Or they would be able to if I was a good overlord and put roads in place. There we go. Now we can start getting rid of the little lodges that are over here. Yes, we will get rid of the lodges. Because I want to build an industrial area over here, which means we're going to need some windmills. Windmills? Meals? Yes, we're going to eat them, actually. Um, planks and logs. They produce 200, but problem is power power is a little difficult to do with this specific faction you really get wind or water wheels that's it and with the seasons being as long as they are it makes it kind of difficult to constantly produce that power we need hello lira the husky has come to say hello to everyone which is perfectly allowed Everyone loves a good husky. There we go. Hey. Now we have... Okay, so we will prioritize these by haulers at all times. That way our haulers are over there. We still have nine... Nine work... Okay, we need more beavers. Oh, we have 11 babies right now. We... Do we have... Any that are sleeping outside? No. Okay. As long as we don't have any sleeping outside, that's that's all I care about. Now, what is something else we can do, though? We can help them. We can make them happy. We can give them a rooftop terrace. Or, hear me out, we can give them a Lido. They could do a Lido right here. Or they could do one, like, right here. Yeah, that's not bad. Right there. We'll do a Lido. And then they can go swimming. And that'll take care of some of that wet fur issue we've been having. Nobody loves... Nobody likes a stinky beaver. We need a shower. Where are the showers at? We'll do some showers too. Two showers over here. Or will we put the showers next to the... Alright, hold on. We put the showers next to the Lido. So they can rinse off after they're done playing in the water. That sounds like something that would be semi-realistic. <laughs> I say as I'm planning a city for beavers who survived the apocalypse. Nobody ever said I was a smart man. Doing pretty well. Food is average. Most of our food is blueberries, which isn't great, but it be what it be. Grilled potatoes. What are you waiting on? Prioritized by haulers. Oh, there are no more haulers. Lovely. Lovely. That's fine and dandy. That's absolutely dandy, isn't it? Oh, okay. yeah, this is... Hopefully some of those kids start growing up, because we got 13 of them and 13 haulers that I need. Could always pause an inventor. we got enough science for now, I guess. Yeah, as long as we have our water being pumped, we have our farmers. Yeah, there's really only so much we can do, I guess. Oh, I wanted to put you up on top of here. 
That's what I had wanted to do. But what happens if I move him up on top of that? Uh, where's woodworking? What happens if I put the forester right here? Pretty much nothing changes, so we'll do that. Just for aesthetic's sake, so there's two things on either side here. Not really a rush on that anytime soon. Hmm. We need more carrots, though. It's becoming dangerous. We're going to have to start planting... Getting rid of some of these tree areas and planting more. I mean, we're pretty well off on logs, so if we decided to plant some crops out over these... And then the tree cutter can come along and do his thing. We'll just add another row of carrots here and hopefully that'll give us some more food. We have potatoes, but they're just not going anywhere, are they? There we go, we're starting to bake some potatoes now. Not a whole lot, but we're getting a few. Grilled potatoes and the normal potatoes go there. Yeah. We have potatoes growing, we got carrots growing. Some of the children are growing up. Planks, that's a big one. Planks, planks, planks. That's pretty big. That's, that's a lot to do. I do still like how this courtyard looks. I know it's one block off over here. It's going to drive me crazy until the end of time. So much so that we're going to fix it right now. And we're just going to demolish some buildings. And by buildings, I mean roads. There we go. And that gives us room to put some other stuff right here if we actually need it. Oh, this is terrifying. I hate the droughts. I really do. I'm not good at planning management games. Or management planning, city planning, city management, resource management. I'm not smart. Help me, my people. No, we're going to have a good time. Our beavers will be happy. I would like to start planning the... I don't want to get rid of these blueberries, though. Because that is a massive chunk of our food source. Hey, we only have five jobs. Our food is still kind of crappy, though. And only four days left in the drought. I think we'll be just fine. Uh, your productivity is 7%. We don't have logs and we don't have potatoes. Why don't we have potatoes? Prioritize potatoes. Specifically, harvesting. And now we have enough harvest, or we have some more here, so we can do that. Uh, yeah, y'all I'm not super worried about yet. But now at least they're prioritizing harvesting the potatoes. Oh, there we go. Wait, that was the wrong one. Now they're prioritizing harvesting the potatoes, which is good for our food resources. <clears throat> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm going to mark these trees to be demolished now. Simply because we need the space for food. And I know there are beautiful, beautiful maple trees, but we have enough logs for now. We have filled our log storage to a point of overcapacity. Oh, we still have water up here. That's impressive. That is actually kind of impressive. And now we have all the room up here for all the babies. Uh, eventually, all these roofs will get built. Eventually, they'll build the Lido. Again, this is all just waiting on planks. These are getting gears, at least. So that's good, but not planks. Uh, we're gonna open these guys back up. There we go, there we go. And where is the nearest metal uh, resource that we can scavenge? Over here. So we're gonna want to start scavenging some metal up soon, but what I want to do is create a dedicated aquaculture area, I guess? And I'm not sure how we're gonna do that right now. We have a crap ton of water. I kind of want to make it back here, actually. Make this the aquaculture. Heck, is that what is that? What's the name? Aquaculture. 
Aquatic farmhouse. Aquatic crops. Aquaculture. That's what it's getting called now. I don't care if you like it or not. Um, or we could put it down here. Oh, they're actually working on this. Oh, I didn't realize they were already working on that. Oh, no. These beavers are excited. They're pumped up and ready to work. Um, let's mark some stuff for demolition. Because we're going to need to get up here so I can get a trail going all the way over here to the... Ugh, why am I like this? I need to get a trail all the way over to the ruins over here so we can start getting metal resources. One day left in the drought. Easy day. And that is how you survive hard mode on Timberborn. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I know that's why you all watch my videos, just so you can watch me flutter. Flutter? Flounder. English. Not my friend. I've, I've said this time and time again. You think by now y'all would believe me that English is just not my friend. Now what can we do here to make things look better, maybe? Ooh, we could do some suspension bridges. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bridges look nice. That one takes metal. Uh, we don't have metal. Three by one? How big is the gap right here? That's one, two, three, four, five. We could do a two and then a three. And then we could get rid of this other pathway right here. That kind of looks hideous, to be honest. But hey, it is the end of the drought. We made it. Y'all know what time it is. Prepare for that wet season time lapse, and we'll see y'all in just a few minutes. And we have an 11 day drought not a massive issue and if you were paying attention during our time lapse our little beavers have started to build down here i was completely unaware that they had already made their way down here so um yeah i decided that putting a wood pile down here is probably for the best Oh, it's flooded right now. That's fine. Uh, wood pile down here is for the best, just so they have the resources a little bit closer to where they're working. Because as you can see, they get very wet, and, or they get very hungry, and they get very uh, angry and thirsty while they're work working down here. So uh, hopefully this helps alleviate that a little bit. Um, yeah, I know it's a really far way away from the district, so hopefully none of them... Oh, I have 14 beavers. With... Oh my god, that's a lot of beavers. Food, okay. Um, I didn't expect to have this many beavers. We need food right now. We need food. We need a lot of food. Holy crap. 
I didn't expect there to be this many beavers. Can we prioritize harvesting? And we're already prioritizing harvesting. Okay. Oh, I didn't expect there to be so many beavers so quickly. Um, could probably pause these big houses then. Ooh. Okay. Um, food, 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 food is going to be an issue. Let's not demolish any of this stuff. Um, where is it? Unmarked for demolition. We need every drop of that that we can get. Uh, we have all of our water going, but food is the biggest issue, I think. I guess we could harvest some dandelions. I'm not really sure. It is a food source, so I mean... If... Might as well let them have something, I guess. Oh, so many beavers, not enough food. I wasn't paying attention to our food enough. We're not making enough potatoes. I think we might just have to make more farms over here. I mean, this guy has a pretty big reach. Could plant some more farm up here. We're going to do an emergency. What's the fastest thing we got? Four days, five days, six days, ten days. Right, we're going to do some carrots up here. Oh, that caught me off guard. Hopefully our food lasts long enough for them to plant that freaking carrot patch, but, you know. Right, we'll prioritize the carrots. Y'all's priority is carrots, and y'all's is potatoes. We might get rid of the sunflowers, because let's be honest, the sunflowers ain't doing much. So if we potato it, I'm just going to go through here, clear all these out. Throw in some spuds. Let's get rid of all this for demolition. And then we'll throw some spuds in right there. Okay. Our food's shooting back up. We got the carrots. Okay. Disaster one diverted. Uh, how's that going? Y'all are working fast. Wow. I did not expect them to start work on that anytime soon. That caught me off guard. That really did. As you uh, saw in the time lapse, I started work on the industrial area. I'm going to get us two lumber mills here, powered by beavers. That way they're there 24 7, 7 days a week, 16 hours a day. I know I said 24 7. I'm a liar. Sue me. Uh, we need planks here. We need some planks here. That tree still needs to be removed. Eventually it will get removed. Uh, are you harvesting dandelions? Yeah, you are. Prioritize your dandelions. Um, hmm. Okay, well, as long as there's dandelions there, I guess. It is what it is. They have food. They have water. The water's pretty much staying stable, so I can deal with that. Uh, needs more planks. Where's all my planks going right now? We're going to up the priority on these water tanks and up the priority on these sunflowers getting demolished and or harvested. They'll probably get demolished before they get harvested. That's fine. And then we'll throw some more potatoes in and we'll have plenty of potatoes and things will be fine. And the food is uh, the food. <laughs> it's starting to lower again. Oh, it's okay. It's going to be okay, my little beavers. It's going to be okay. How's our water? Oh, I didn't raise these. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fool. A fool I am. But hey, these are almost all gone. Are y'all thirsty? Y'all are thirsty. Okay. What we're going to do now is plant some freaking potatoes. Potato. I love potatoes. Potatoes. More potatoes. Okay, so we got two potato fields, one, two, three, four carrot fields, one sunflower field. Hopefully that's enough for the 39 plus four beavers that I have right now. 11 beavers are without a job currently. That is ridiculous. You know what we could build if I could figure myself out? Uh, district center hall, a builder's hut. Because that'll help us with pretty much everything. And if we throw him, like, right here, what does he require? He requires logs and planks. Of course he does. 
But again, this is one of those workplaces that's going to be kind of low priority, but it will give us some more builders, which will be nice. If you're sat on your ass doing nothing, Sul... Salia? Sully? Is that you, Sully? Oh, we got another water tank. Thank the gods we have more water. The more water we can store, the better it is for everyone. Just look at that. Pretty. You know what? I was about to say, if they started work on the underwater one, I was going to be upset. How's this one going? This reservoir is already going to be one deep by the end of this drought. That is ridiculous. I can't believe they started work on that already. Okay, our food, our food, our food, our food. Uh, food, 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 food. We are f two days away from those. We are six days away from these. Oh, it's not a good time right now to be a beaver. What about carrots? How's the carrots doing? Why aren't you harvesting the carrots? What are you doing? What if we say none for now? Let's go harvest the carrots, please and thank you. Harvest the carrots, please and thank you. Awesome, thank you. Nope, nothing there. How many planks are going there? Where are your planks going? Are you going up here to this guy? No? No? Where are all the planks going? I wish there was a way to see where things are going. I mean, I would assume... No? No? No planks here. None here. None here. None here. None here. None here. Where are my planks going? They're just disappearing into the ether. Are they going into here? Are my planks going into here? Is that what's happening? There's ten planks in here. Can y'all not do that, please? I wonder if that's what happens if you prioritize it by haulers. Will they bring it to the... Um, I don't know. I, I do not know. These are questions I do not know. We can high prioritize these, though. Um, so they start getting built so we can get some of these beavers into a job. Because this is now built, but we still have six more beavers. Seven beavers now without jobs. Ooh, our food is might be saved. We might have saved our behinds. Oof, that was a dangerous game that we were playing right there, guys. There we go, 15, 12. So soon we'll have two more of these nice, beautiful, beautiful woodcutters, lumber mills, same thing. And now we just need the power source for them. Awesome. The power source is being built for at least one of them. Perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, we have an injured beaver. Go use the medical tent. Visitors? There you are. Look at him, he's sleeping peacefully. I wouldn't call it peacefully, but he's he's there. Hey, there we go. Now we should have twice the lumber output for these planks, which should cause a massive, massive increase in things. You know, during working hours, at least. Um, that'll help us a lot. Food is going down right now. That's expected. So I guess in a perfect world, I would have one farm planting and one harvesting a lot, but that's not perfect for us right now. But you can't win all of them. There we go. I mean, for the most part, uh, their productivity is not doing great right now. Why is your productivity so low? I wonder if the productivity is so low is because they have to bring... Oh my god, we actually have surplus planks. Oh my Jesus. Hold my drinks. We have planks in a storage area. That is unheard of. Never in a Timberborn game have I had a surplus of planks, even if it was only 29 of them. How are y'all doing down here? Oh my... Y'all are just... Okay. These beavers are like, nah. Nah, I remember... I saw what happened to my cousin Vinny. That ain't happening to us. Can you please demolish these? And these, though. I need you to demolish these resources. Those and those. Once you get those out of the way. Oh, we're running really low on food right now. Oh, no. Oh, we got the carrots, but no. 
I don't know if that's enough. We might need more food. We got half a day until the... Oh my god. Are we even grilling potatoes? Like, why aren't we grilling potatoes? We have no goods in stock. None of the potatoes are harvested. This is not good, my friends. My, my people, this is not good. I don't know why I said prioritize that one by Hellers. Uh, yeah, this isn't... Eh, this is not good. We need to figure out food. We need to add more crops or another farmhouse. I still have four workers without a job. You know what we could do is turn this into a, uh, that way at least during the wet season they have food. Let's get an aquatic farmhouse and if we wanted to, hmm, put it like right here. Hey, the drought ended, so you know what that means. See everybody for the wet season time lapse. back we have a 15 day drought we're gonna do the smart thing real quick and raise our floodgates uh we have spatter dock going now so we should in a few days see some spatter dock being grown we have a thousand water now that's a lot uh, the food is kind of stabilized as long as we don't get too many new beavers we should be able to stay pretty good on food uh, I'm gonna start adding these little water warehouses around just so people can just so our beavers can get drinks because they decided that it's a great idea to come all the way down here but they won't get rid of these trees for me for some reason so I don't know what's going on with them um, yeah beavers being beavers I guess but uh, eventually once these trees go away We'll have... God, they have made so much progress on this. That surprised the absolute crap out of me. That they started working down here that quickly. So soon we'll have another place to pump water from. We'll just throw some water pumps over here. But if y'all want to see us survive the next 14 or 13.8 days, you're going to have to come back next week for our next episode of Timberborn. Because uh, I'm out of time for today. So thank y'all for joining. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.